Guys, hurry up. The flight leaves in four hours. It could take time to get a taxi. There could be traffic. The plane could leave early. When we get to London, there could be a line of customs. Come on! London might have gotten started mainly because I felt like while the show was popular, we needed to take advantage of it and go someplace and do the show on an exotic location and have a good time. There's just so many people here walking around, you know. People from all over the world are here. These last few episodes of the show have kind of been about us getting all excited to go to London, and then we realized in real life we're actually doing that same thing. Passport check, camera check, traveler's checks check. Hey! 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 Are you ready yet? Yep, you got the tickets? Oh, got them right here. Check. Yeah, London, baby. <laughs> It's all London, baby. Here we go. Ross is, is getting married to this young woman named El Emily, and um, I set him up by accident. Why don't we? Why don't we what? <laughs> Get married. I started to uh, fall for um, this character, Emily, uh, played by Helen Baxendale, and we decided to to go all the way, I guess, and, and get married. Uh, Ross has asked me to marry him, and I say yes. And so we arrange a big wedding in London. Things go a bit wrong. There's nothing to discuss. We're not paying for your wine cellar. You, you have to meet me in the middle here. Yeah. Hey, you keep pushing me on this. My foot's going to meet the middle of your ass. You want a piece of me, sir? Is that what you're saying? Want a piece of me? <laughs> okay, OK, that's it. Parents, parents, back away. All right, this is our wedding day. From now on, everyone gets along. And if I hear one more word, no grandchildren. That's right. Okay, okay. Sorry, oh boy. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, boy. I could kill you with my thumb, you know. <laughs> we knew the show was popular in England, and so it seemed like a natural fit. I knew how big the show was over here, and that part was really exciting for everybody to be welcomed. Everywhere, walking down the street, I don't know if you see over there, bunches of kids watching and so uh, signing autographs. They're just really big fans of the show over here, I guess. I, I watch it all the time, and videos of it, because my children love it. They absolutely love it. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> OK, so say hi to my friend and tell him you like my hat. OK, so um, that's it. <laughs> hi, Chanda. We wanted to still feel like friends. Um, and so we wanted to shoot a lot of it in front of an audience, and it seemed like a really exciting opportunity to shoot an American sitcom in front of a British audience. Come on, do something. I am. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> okay, here. I'm going to be the on-camera guy. All right. First stop, Westminster Abbey. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? That's London, baby. We were really afraid going over that either uh, they'd be far more sedate. They wouldn't laugh. They'd be. They were great. They were great. Yeah. Big laughers. They waited in line up. for hours. We traveled 329 miles. No, she's lying. Actually, it's more like 200. <laughs> the show's doing so well over here that it just seems like, uh, you know, that they're real, rece real, real receptive. It's, it's really quite wonderful and flattering and overwhelming, truthfully. You know, we didn't have a single bad audience in London. Also, there was a, a greater sense of event, which I think it energized everybody, the actors, uh, the writers. We're just really excited to be here. Like, look, look back there. Look how cool that is. We missed Lisa. Yeah. We missed Lisa not being there. That was probably the only drawback I can think of. First thing I thought was, how exciting. I wonder if I'm going. Oh, it's awful that Lisa's not here. It's, uh, we feel like we have a, like a limb missing. <laughs> Let's try some um, aversion therapy. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, look at the picture. Okay. All right. And, um. Ow! <laughs> it's always strange when one person is not there. You miss her terribly. It's a little weird to all of us be here without her. She's in the episode all the way through it on the phone and things like that. Hello? Hey, Phoebes. It's Joey. Hey, Joey! Hey, oh, oh, I just saw someone that looks just like you on the subway, and I was going to go over and say hi, but then I figured he doesn't care he looks like you. <laughs> that just cost me four bucks. Part of me really wishes I could go, but I'm very happy to not get on a plane for a lot of hours. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a good traveler. The Waltham residence 
Oh, yes. Is this um, Emily's parents' house? Uh, this is the housekeeper speaking. And by the way, young lady, that is not how one addresses a person on the telephone. <laughs> First, one identifies oneself. And then asks for the person with whom one wishes to speak. Uh, this is Phoebe Buffet. I was wondering, please, if, if it's not too much trouble, please, um, if, might I speak with Miss Emily Waltham, please? It was also interesting because we had shot about a third of it here. Mm. And uh, a little uh, bit of it on the streets in London. All right. Westminster Abbey. Hands down, best Abbey I ever seen. <laughs> hey. Okay. What do you think of the Abbey, Chandler? <laughs> uh, I think it's great. It's great. You know, they're thinking of changing the name of this place. Really? To what? To put the camera away. <laughs> Man, you are Westminster Crabby. <laughs> it was just a really gratifying experience. Pretty much everything we, we'd hoped to get out of it, we got.